I don't like to do things because they're, they're good for you or because they're good for society or good for the world. I do them because I really enjoy it personally. Russell's no longer in this movie. I'm working on a piece called Here Lies Love that I've been kind of working on for many, many years. And the short explanation is it's kind of a disco musical. It's a little unconventional. There's almost no dialogue. It's about 28 songs uh, that all just kind of go one right into the other. And they tell the story of uh, Imelda Marcos, uh, Benigno Aquino, Ferdinand Marcos, Estrella, but we mainly follow this one woman and her, from her childhood to when she is forced to leave. And wrote a lot of songs. I wrote a lot of them with Fatboy Slim, the British DJ, and the cast, which is mainly Filipino. The inspiration came from the fact that Imelda, who was kind of this flamboyant, notorious kind of person on the scene, uh, I read that she loved going to discos. She loves going to what, Studio 54. She turned the top floor of the palace in Manila into a club. She had a mirror ball installed in her New York townhouse. She really was immersed in that, that world, that lifestyle during that period. And I thought, here's a, a, a kind of a world leader of a sort who has a lot of crazy stuff going on but also comes with a soundtrack. I can certainly do, maybe with uh, Fat Boy Slim's help, kind of a dance music thing that kind of immerses you in, in that world and maybe there's a connection between like a euphoria that you feel in that world in a dance club and the euphoria that a person in power has. We, I know that the audience comes in with preconceived ideas. First thing they, they have in their head is, this is the woman with the shoes. Well, the shoes are never, ever mentioned. We have to break down the audience's preconceived ideas and go, wait a minute, we're gonna tell you where she came from, and there's a lot more to her than what you know. And then later on, we get to the kind of more kind of indulgent and extravagant stuff that she's uh, became known for, and the audience kind of realizes, okay, now, they've, now what they're seeing is, is a human being. I did you know a couple of years of research, so I had lots of material to to draw from quotes from the different characters, speeches, interviews they'd given, all that kind of stuff, which was really rich. It, there were phrases that they used. The title phrase, Here Lies Love, is a phrase that Imelda really said she wants on her tombstone. And all this kind of stuff that I couldn't, could never have made up. And so in a way, writing from another character's point of view where you can, I can say, oh no, that's not me speaking, that's this character telling you that. It's very liberating. It's, uh, it allows me to engage in some kind of corny cliches because it rings true to what that character would say at that particular moment. But if I had to say it, I would be totally embarrassed. I would go, no, no, I can't say that because that's way too corny. I'm David Byrne, and you're watching Epiphany on Thinker. <laughs>